Hi there, you're very welcome to join me again for another live practice with me face painting session. Um, today I'm going to show you how to practice swirls. They are a bit difficult, I think, so um, let's take some time to practice them. My name is Lilia, I'm a professional face painter in Berlin, Germany. And um, yeah, I'm welcoming you to practice with me and see how I practice. And I'll explain you first how to, uh, how to paint swirls. And then um, I'll, yeah, I'll show you some uh, swirl clusters that was requested. And I hope that lovely person is watching this. <laughs> so whether you're here with me live or on the replay, I wish you lots of fun and a calming session to practice. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to change my setup because I think, I think I got a better idea how to do that. So let's see if that works. Please let me know if that you can see well. And I hope the camera doesn't keep changing the focus. If not, I'll have to, uh, it's a bit, that's quite tricky. I hope that's okay. Yeah, no more. Wait, we're going around. Okay, so what you're going to need is a brush around brush and you can use different sizes. I, I'm going to practice with those two. These are Loconel number five and number three, but feel free to use other round brushes as well. It's good to practice with different ones. And a water spritzer, of course, and I'm going to start with some white paint. White is usually the color face painters practice most with because they um, the color is needed, like it's, it's used uh, the most for line work. But yeah, I encourage you to practice with other paints as well because that's more fun <laughs> and it's even better practice because all the, all the different brands and even the colors itself are different. So yeah, I'm going to activate the paint. There's not so much left, but you know, the paint always goes a long way. So take some time to make the, um, get the paint a creamy consistency. There are some bubbles, that's not good, it's too watery. So let's give the paint a nice massage with our brush. <laughs> and then it will, yeah, it will follow our, our guidance with the brush much easier. I hope you're having a good day today. And yeah, feel free to comment anything on the live stream or in the comments below. Right, this looks about right. Could, you know, you can go continue doing this for quite a few minutes, but I don't want this to be boring. So I'm going to, can you see that? Yeah, it's nice and thick. So you can see better here maybe. <laughs> Just join me, you're very welcome. We're going to practice some swirls now. To practice swirls, we actually need to start somewhere else. We need to start practicing thick, uh, thin to thick to thin lines. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you first, and then we can go from there. So take your brush, hold it. If you can, perpendicular to the skin, that would look like, well, for you, <laughs> like this. But I will place it in a different angle because then you can see better. So know that for you, it has to be at a 90 degree angle from the skin. So take your brush. The brush tip has to be pointy. I hope the camera will show it well. So start from here, thin, too thick, twist it a bit, and too thin. And if you think this is not thin enough, then you can always go back and fix it. Okay, this is the basic stroke we need in order to make really good swirls. Let's do that again. Start from at the tip of your brush, very thin, thicker, twist your brush, and thin, okay? You can always go back and fix it if you want. I need more paint, I think. No, that's okay. All right. If this is the first time you're practicing this, you can practice this for some time, but I'm going to show you how to make swirls now out of these um, 
thin to thick to thin lines. So let me load my brush again. Nice and creamy. Okay. So. so to make a swirl, we're going to do the same, but we are going to bend this line and then come in a swirl. I hope that makes sense. I'll show you. So start from th thick. <laughs> this is confusing. From thick, press down in the curve to th Oh, sorry, from thin to thick and come up again to thin. Try to make it nice and pointy. I hope you were able to see that well. Let me do that again with some more paint. So, one more time. And thin to thick. Too thin. As you can see, I'm doing that very slowly because I'm practicing with you, right? I'm not, I can't do them as fast as I want to yet. <laughs> and yeah, you can take some time to retouch them. Okay, this is how you make swirls. Um, it's good to practice them on this way and the other way around. And um, I'm going to show you a few clusters now. Um, in order to do that, I think I will remove these for now. I tried to avoid using wet wipes, but today I think just the easiest way for me to um, yeah, make some more space for practice time with you. So keep practicing if you're doing some lines, either thin or thick to thin, or swirls directly. Okay. Okay, fresh new canvas. <laughs> okay. Should I swap the maybe I will take another another color. Let me see. Let me clean my brush. I'll take another color and let's see what I have. Maybe some red. I really love red. It's so bright. Where's my red? So, taking some red, as you can see, I really like re using red. Some, it's not almost gone, but you know, these paints go a long way. But, well, let me clean that up now that I see it. It's not nice. You yeah, know, you can see some more. You know, it's not perfectly clean, but that's because it's glitter and, you know, glitter is not dirt <laughs> and it's not really possible to clean the glitter of like 100%. Once it's there, it will always be there. Okay. It's not creamy enough, so I'll keep loading my brush. Let me know how your practice goes. And almost there. I'm a bit impatient when I do these lives, but <laughs> I should take some time. When you're loading your brush, it's imp uh, important that it's it ha the cream. Um, sorry, the paint has a very creamy consistency, and the tip of your brush because we need a very um, we we want to start with a thin line, right? It should be very. Can you see that? It should be very pointy. I don't know if you can see that. So if it's like if it's dripping, if it's too round at the top, these are good for teardrops. But if you see that there's too much paint, you can always, you know, remove it. Just like you put the butter on your bread. <laughs> That's how I always see it. See, that's nice and pointy. Now we can use it. Let me put this away. So I'm going to show you a cluster now. And I can tell you it's really difficult, so don't give up if that doesn't work out for the first time, even for the third or fifth time, just keep practicing. So you start from here, we're going to paint a, a row of swirls over the 
yeah, of the whole arm. So I'm going to start from here. Sorry, trying to make this so you can see. Okay. Thin, thick, and come up thin. Okay. Free to make some small adjustments. And then, and then you can, I always start at the beginning actually again, just in my mind. So I follow this line, follow it, and then start from here again, thin, thick, and lift up, thin. See, let me do that like this. Okay, so you should be thin here again, just as I practiced before, thin, thick, and thin. It's always thin, thick, and thin. Yeah, if you're practicing that, do that as slowly as you need to. There's no point in rushing it. I find that especially here when I think, oh, I'm almost done. I'm, I want to like, wow, flick it, but then it always messes it up. So just take your time. So as you can see, I'll show you um, one more. Let me load my brush again, make it nice and pointy. So, I with my, in my mind, I start from here again, then start from here, thin, press down, thick, and thin. Okay? Okay, so now I want to show you something. In order to make them look like a nice cluster, follow the base, like the baseline. It should be from here. It's always like a, yeah, it's like a wave. Yeah, it will go on like this. And to the sides, there will be the swirls. I hope that makes sense. So take some time to practice those. They look really amazing if you're able to um, incorporate them into your design on the face. Because that's like real art, I find. <laughs> yeah, twisting the brush really helps. But of course, there's a lot to think about. So don't stress out about it. I'm happy that I gave you a nice tip. <laughs> so start from here again. Thin, thick in the curve and come up. Thin again. Okay. You could always go back, make them nicer, you know. Okay, just for practice, just making a few more. I love that red. Oh, that's not pointy enough. Let me use the butter knife technique and get rid of the paint. Okay, and thin, thick, and Thin. Okay. I think it's easier now to see the, the wave. Yeah, it's nice. Your, your eyes, uh, your eyes like seeing this curve, even though you don't know why you like this, but it's quite satisfying for, for them because <laughs> they recognize patterns, even though your brain maybe doesn't know why it likes it. Okay. I think there's space for one more. So well, maybe not more paint, but to try. So from here, press down, okay, that was over the knuckle, it's a bit tricky, but it's good practice too, you know, because the face isn't smooth or like isn't flat either, so it's good to practice. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can enhance these. We um, I also made a live stream about teardrops. If you haven't watched that, I will link that up for you as well. And you can incorporate those teardrops now if you want to. Um, so uh, you can see there's um, there's always a gap, right, where the next swell comes from here as well. So we have some space here. We can place some teardrops. Oh, actually. I'll use another brush for this one because that one is a bit too big. But you can place teardrops in the middle of those. 
And always remember, a cluster of three looks always very nice. So I'm loading my brush. And here we go. So, sorry, you can't see well, right? Let me do that from here. So, one, press down, pull up, press down, pull up, press down, pull up, like this. And you can do this in all those corners. So I'm going to show that to you here as well. You can always twist your brush in the end. It's not becoming thinner. Try to not let them touch each other. Sometimes it's quite tricky. Okay. And I'll just add the others. I'm sorry I can't place my... Can you... Well, I'll just have to do that quickly, so not missing too much. Like this. They touch each other. That's why I was too fast. Ah, oh. yeah, you shouldn't rush. <laughs> anyway, it still looks nice, I think. So, and again, this is a very difficult technique. I find those swells, so don't give up. And feel free to send me your progress on Instagram. I'd love to see what you've been practicing. You can find the contact in the description box as well. Okay. There's one more one more cluster you can do with those swells. Um, I actually never practiced them, so I hope I can show you them by trying that out live for you for the first time. And let me maybe choose another color. You know, I like switching up, up colors. I lost my favorite cup for the water at a customer's party, oh, like at my last party, but now um, I don't really want to leave the house. Like at the point of when I'm recording this, there's a coronavirus going around and I don't want to drive because I'm using public transport. I don't want to spend the time in the train for a long time just to get one cup. Maybe they'll keep them for me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that only happens on lives when I'm talking. I'm sorry. Let me clean that up for you. How's your practice going? I hope you're not getting frustrated. I practiced those swirls for some time, so I know how frustrating these are. But if they work out for you, congratulations. <laughs> Most. So I love dark blue. I keep nice and pointy. The butter knife technique. Doop. Get rid of the excess paint. Oh, there's a hair. One second. Can't paint like that. All right. I'm going to show it to you on my hand. I hope this works. Ooh, I'm a bit nervous. So you start. Oh yeah, so let's start at the bottom. So, thin, thick, and thin. Maybe that was too thin here. And then we're going to mirror it. Mirror it. <laughs> Hope I got that right. Maybe a bit more point. Okay, let me reload my brush and then Again, start from here, press down, you can see what it's going to be like, right? Ooh, making a nice heart. Oh, I love that. Let me try to make them equal. You can paint these swirls also from starting at the, you know, at the tip. Like at the, at the end, I call it the end. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a term for it. For me, that's a bit more trickier, but I might have to practice that too. Because it's always good to be able to do several techniques. Do 
trying to make that perfect, but we'll make that. Okay, they should touch each other, but you know, let me enhance that a bit. While you're practicing, don't force yourself to make like perfect straight lines the whole time. Um, give yourself some freedom as well. So, for example, me, I don't like that there's a gap, so I'm just going to, I don't know, put some teardrops in there. So, yeah, I like that more. Maybe a tiny one. Oh, let's make a dot. That's better. Dot and dot number two. And what else? How about that? Hmm. Just be creative. Maybe some more down here. <laughs> I'm supposed to practice teardrops, right? One second. You can make so really wonderful clusters while you're practicing. Sorry, I'm obsessed. One more. Come on. <laughs> okay. Right, so I think that will be the end of today's session. Please leave me a like if you find that helpful. Share it with a face painting friend if you know somebody who wants to practice as well. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. I'd love to see you again in the next session. Let me know what I want, uh, what I should show you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again soon. <laughs>